welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to install an accelerator or GPU graphics processing unit on the HPE ProLiant servers. So I am taking the one of the leading provider of GPU, which is NVIDIA GPU, and we are using the ProLiant server. So HPE ProLiant server looks like this. So the here the steps are very pretty simple, but we have to do in a systematic way. Let's say here is the how we can do uh, install the GPU processor. If you see the first diagram, this is the how the GPU processor is looks like, and the slots also it's look we can insert only within the PCA slot. And the first thing is we have to remove the server from the rack. Let's say if you see here using the rack rail we removed the server but before removing the server we have to disconnect all the power cables LAN connection and fiber connections all the connections are removed then using the rack rail we can remove the server to the outside from, uh, remove remove from the rack once it's removed you can see this is the part we call it as a PCI module peripheral component interconnect module so using this peripheral component interconnect module also we have to re take out from the rack take out from the server and see it looks like this if you see the right side diagram this is a PCI module and whatever the we have the GPU this GPU we have to insert in this PCI slot OK, so when we plan to install the once we install the GPU into this PCA module. See if you see here earlier, there is no GPU processor in the server. Once we connected, you can see the Tesla NVIDIA GPU processor is here. OK, this is how once we insert it, we can move the server to the into the rack and connect all the power cables and power on. OK, this is all this is all this is how we can place the GPU inside the server. OK, and let me recap all the steps. The first one is if you want to install an accelerator or GPU on the HP ProLiant server, first power down the server. That means shut down the server from the guest OS level. Once it is shut down, you can disconnect all the cables from the server. All cables means it's a power cable, LAN connection, and fiber channel cable connection if there are any additional connections. Okay. Once all the cables are removed from the server and take out the server from the rack. How we take out? We can just uh, using the rack rail, we can move out, take out the server from the rack and remove the PCA blank slot. Suppose if there are any multiple PCA slot, we should look for which PCA is slot is blank you can take out the specific PCI module and install the GPU into the PCI module once the GPU is installed into the PCI module we have to insert the PCI module into the server and move the server into the rack okay and connect back the all the server cables and power on the server once the server is powered on successfully we can connect the server using the hp elbow and verify whether the gpu card is installed successfully or not okay so that is the key point here and let's say we until now we we talk about how to install the gpu on the hpe proliant server let's say you may have a question why do we need to install the gpu processor on the hpe ProLiant servers. So why we are installing the HP? There are so many use cases. So I will cover one quick use case. The use case is if you want to run VMware plus NVIDIA A ready platform. A ready means artificial intelligence ready platform. It's in our hardware infrastructure. One of the key component is we require a NVIDIA GPU. So GPU means graphic processing unit that is specifically for application acceleration. And that means in enhancing the performance and some scenarios we may also use NVIDIA Smart NIC code. Smart NIC code, another name is Data Processing Unit DPU and Network and Infrastructure Acceleration Purpose. But D GPU is mainly for application acceleration. If you want to run a, any virtual machine guest OS level application, or if you want to run a, any enterprise grade Kubernetes container application, that means vSphere with Tanju. 
Okay, and this platform we can run it on multi cloud environment, hybrid cloud environment, or private cloud. But wherever it is, the physical server infrastructure is common. But if you plan to use this, uh, if you want plan to enhance your application performance within our hardware level, make sure that our GPU must be installed. So I shown you option for how to place the GPU in one server, the same procedure for all other servers. Once the GPU is running, our container application will allow you to run NVIDIA AI Enterprise and it will provide you all these features. AI and data analytic applications we can run and GPU virtualization. That means virtual machines also connected with virtual GPUs and infrastructure optimization performance scaling. And normally NVIDIA AI and all taken care by the data scientist, developer and AI researcher. And as an IT administrator, we should make sure that our hardware must connected with the GPU. Maybe in future, if you want to enhance your acceleration at network and infrastructure layer, we have to insert a DPU also in the same procedure. Okay. And the main use case for this AI ready platform is data center AI training and inference and edge AI inference, data analytics and machine learning. And uh, still, there are so many use cases. This is the high level overview. What is the main use case to place the GPU on a HPE ProLiant servers? Okay. So that's it. Thank you. If you are watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Gnan Cloud Career channel. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.